Right, okay. So just before this podcast begins, I just want to apologize for any random jump cuts that there is. This is down to just purely um, where the podcast was filmed. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, so I've tried to make them as seamless as I can, but just want to apologize in advance and enjoy the rest of the podcast. You do that. Hello and welcome to the official women's podcast. Today, we're joined by Daniel. So, Tommy. Hello. Dara. Hello. And Jay. And our special guest, Aaron. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> Aaron is a very influential figure in our lives. Yeah, a so, public figure. A public figure. <laughs> He's a bit big for his boots. Yeah. yeah, for public in the way he wears very tight shirts. <laughs> now, we decided to bring Aaron on to ask him questions, as he he is he is a mentor to at least two of us, <laughs> and we. We think he has some interesting stories he can teach us and life lessons to learn. Hello, Aaron. Hi. How are you doing? Very good, thanks. How was By the way, my shorts are not that tight. <laughs> Too tight I, for I comfort. Just, just M- muscle fit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the muscle are brown and strong. <laughs> now, would you, would you like to tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, just a bit of background. Oh, uh, went to a private school. Wow. Yeah. In Calvin, by the way. In Calvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ireland, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, went from there to Manute. Spent many years up there. Uh, some good, so, some not so good. Uh, worked up there for a few years and then decided that teaching was the profession for me. And you came here. Exactly. Yeah. To this and unnamed now I'm area. On this Podcast. How many years did you do? Oh, I think I spent eight years up there. Eight studying yes. or, or studying or like Stu- studying and working. Did you do computers up there or? Yeah. So started off doing maths and geography. Then one of my friends was like, "Oh, let's do philosophy," and I was like, "No, it's just a waste of time." <laughs> <laughs> dead right, dead right. Yeah. So my first year subjects then were maths and geography that were my first two and then I picked computer science just because I thought there might be a job in it <laughs> and how wrong you were <laughs> how wrong I was yeah uh, yeah so did that and partied a lot in Not second really semester <laughs> of first year failed a couple of exams and had to repeat oh, and no. then got my girlfriend at the time pregnant wow. <laughs> No yeah. And I eventually had to make him my wife. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, probably the tight shorts that it did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just not it's just a family group chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so did that and didn't have the time for maths. Maths was super difficult, like, there was so much extra stuff you had to do with it. So finished off geography that year. He, the wee lad, was born in March. So finished off my exams in May for geography. Just about got through them. And then went back and did computer science instead of maths. Not too bad. So five years to do three-year course. Hustler. Hustler, Hustler, yeah. Yeah, Van Weiler. Yeah. (laughs) A lot more money spent than necessary on courses. Exactly, yeah. 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 Although I was lucky enough, any of the repeat years I had to pay for, but I was eligible for the grant like so. Ah, right, okay. So you had a bonus. Good old Susie, yeah. yeah. Well, actually, it was the... When I did it, it wasn't, Susie wasn't even a team. We got it through the uh, county councils. So oh. when, you, when you were in university, you got three months off your pay in a check. In one <laughs> check. In one check. <laughs> so That's so dangerous to get to a college student. And it was in 2008, so the crash hadn't happened. <clears throat> you would have been better off daily allowance. Yeah, so we, we literally got like 2,200 or something. In a check, and that had to, that was supposed to do you three months. Like, oh, yeah. how much did it do? Like three days. <laughs> uh, so, I, actually, I was okay. To be fair, uh, I knew it had to do me like so. Yeah, mm-hmm. like some of the other geezers that would be there. Yeah, blowing yeah, yeah. Them all. No, well, I didn't. I didn't come. I know I did, went to private school, but it was grants and the church and stuff that paid for that. Like, so I don't come from a, a wealthy background. Like, fair enough. So I knew the, when I was up there, I was on my own. Like, out of the favelas of Calvin, did, did you steal the money out yeah. the like? Church baskets and stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that how the church I did have a friend, yeah. I did have a friend though one time, well, acquaintance more than a friend, 
he like robbed from they were down at some church thing I actually wasn't oh even there <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, when he was in school like it was massive this is definitely <laughs> him <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it actually wasn't too enough he, he, the calls, he, calls, he robbed from the church basket. Like. He calls his yeah. past yeah. self an acquaintance. Yeah, he got, <laughs> like, got caught. Like. Yeah, money's money. Oh, he got no. suspended and all. Like. The Lord Jesus from, Christ always finds a way. Yeah, school, yeah, like. school, like. <laughs> yeah. yeah he, they were on a school thing. Like. Oh, he's from Charles. Yeah, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Must have been hungry. Must have been. Yeah, fucking hell. Like, Stealing from the church. Although you're in a private boarding school, like, you can't be that hungry. Like. That's true. Was the food good in the private boarding school? No. Not at all. So, so he could have been hungry. He could have been hungry, <laughs> yeah. Well, f- when I was in, from first to third year, the principal chose what we ate. What? The controlling? Like yeah. The controlling like, was it only hour. one meal? Or was no, no, you had, you had your breakfast. Breakfast was cereal, dinner, you had a full dinner. Mm-hmm. But we had steam spuds that if you got the bottom ones, it was okay, but if you got the top ones, mm, they yeah, weren't yeah. cooked. Like. Oh. So... Uh, yeah, so he had that, like, we used to get these steaklets, was what they were called, like, they were, like, steaklets. reformed meat into what should, what Ooh, you would draw a steak lovely. to look like. I think Joe's to listen to that. Yeah, and they used to come out then on trays, like, to be, we've all sat on big tables, it could be, like, eight on the table, and then you get a big tray of meat, and to be swimming in grease, like... Because they'd obviously have to be left Lovely in a, <laughs> they'd obviously have to be left in like a heating oven. Yeah. Because oh. there were so many of us. Like there would have been probably eighty boarders when I was there. Like. Yeah, I was the talking. Steak, the steak, 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 and literally, like, you had to eat, obviously, because, like, there was yeah. no such thing as, we weren't allowed down the town or anything like that. So, like, if you didn't eat, you were hungry, like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so just breakfast and dinner. Yeah. Breakfast, dinner, and then no tea time as well. So tea time was from quarter to six till six for first, and then six to quarter past six for second. I'd say as we're all fairly thin, but we know. Yeah, we like know. I know there's a few fat lads. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because they were all farmers, like. Oh, right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they fed well when they got home. Yeah. yeah well, stock them up for the next. Fridays <laughs> then was fish on a Friday, and like. Literally, we went, so it was a big dining hall, probably maybe twice the length. Hogwarts. Twice, yeah, twice, twice yeah. the length, just a shittier version. Twice the length <laughs> of this... Uh, Hogwarts. 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 Uh, so it was about twice the length of this, and maybe a little bit wider, and uh, there was a hatch down there on one end and another hatch at the top. For so our got, deaf listeners, that's that direction. Yeah. That direction, <laughs> that direction yeah. Yeah, yeah. So... At the bottom of the dining hall was the kitchen kitchen. So he yeah. gave you the food and fish on a Friday. You literally picked it up from that hatch and brought it and dropped it off on the next hatch. Nobody yet. Like, the whole school oh. would be stinking. You'd be in first period like, and the smell of fish through the whole school for the whole day. Like. It was rotten. And did you stay there over the weekends? No. Get no. Then. So, so it was Monday to Friday and then... Monday to Friday until I got in trouble and then I had to go in Sunday to Friday. Oh, what, what, did you do? Do? what did you do? I got expelled from boarding. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, so I was with this girl at Another the time. Another girlfriend, probably. Another girlfriend. <laughs> <girl, laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My second wife. So, <laughs> He's a trailer. Yeah. I was with this girl, and um, yeah, just young and stupid, like. And uh, yeah, I just was going home when I wasn't supposed to be going home and all, and then got mm. expelled anyway. And. Uh, to get back, to, to be allowed back in, I had to come in on a Sunday and couldn't miss a day and all that. Which, to be fair, was a good thing because it was in, like, sixth year. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, It was probably the best thing that, the that best. I could have done. Like, yeah. And, that um, was grand. Got me points anyway. Yeah. Class. But, like, what if you, say if someone gets sick, like, during when they're staying there, do yeah. you stay in your, your room or something? Yeah, so, like, if you, if you got sick, you went, there was a matron there that was first aid or, like, so you went into the, the little room, she gave you paracetamol. That was literally what she gave everybody. <laughs> hard <hit> and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Maybe a bit of milk and magnesium if you had a sick, sick stomach. And flat seven up. Yeah. Flat <laughs> seven up, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, she, uh, you were either sent to bed, but if you were had a temperature for any more than a day, you were sent home. Like. Mm. Okay. But funny story about the matron, actually. 
I'm, I'm able to pop my shoulder out. Not a girlfriend. Oh, oh yeah. Another flame. We should yeah. have a contraceptive yeah. sponsorship. <laughs> don't, don't want a story about that, though. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, so when... Where was I now, actually? What was the I saying? Oh, yeah, I could pop my shoulder out. So she grabbed a bag or something that I had, and I pretended to pop my shoulder out, and she actually, like... I had to lie down, she felt faint and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't, obviously, I was just able to do yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did she know you were just able to do that? Or did no, she, no, no. Did she dislocate it? <laughs> yeah, did yeah. you tell her after? Uh, no. <laughs> no, she was lying, like. She, was, she had to, like, proper lie down, like. She had to lie down. She had to lie down, yeah. She thought that she was after, like, popping it out. No, I thought it was hilarious, like. Gets up, gets up, like she was working. Yeah, she. With we, you, I obviously. was in the matron, like, and I was saying, "Oh, my shoulder's sore." Blah blah blah. <laughs> and he dresses as the matron. He's like, "How the tables up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so whatever, whatever bag I had or something, she kind of just went to grab it or something. <laughs> so I popped my shoulder out and started roaring like. <laughs> and then she, uh, she uh, went pure white, like, and had to lay down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just on my shoulder. She goes right yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was grand, like I you're I'm able to like it's not like fully dislocated, it just sticks out like. Yeah. So I just put it like literally it's like closing your fist like it's grand. It doesn't hurt at all. No, not at all. Like you scream for the <laughs> she, I screamed like <laughs> So she fainted like. What happened after? Yeah. Did she just stay like there? No, she had to lie down for like half an hour. Like. Did you just leave her? Yeah. Just leave her like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, was I, just, like, I was just like, I don't know. It's grand like. <laughs> oh yeah, you yeah. just left her lying there. Yeah, I just left Pass. her. I was like, right, away. Oh, oh, that is. Did you not like prop up or anything? Or, like, make sure she was okay, or did you just? She say, was oh. supposed to be the matron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was still. No, was she eight, funny. Age, really? Oh, I was probably in fifth or sixth year. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was older. Like, I'm gonna think this was like when you were like twelve or thirteen or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bit of a troublemaker. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. She's actually a teacher in that school now. The matron is. Yeah. God. What was like the worst punishment you had to do? Or, like, oh, house suspension, 100%. So don't even have to, yeah, literally had to go into the front office. So number one, every visitor could see it, that you were on house suspension. Oh. Like, and you had to stand in the corner. Shame. <laughs> Shame. For the entire day, like. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> you weren't allowed to sit down, like. Seriously? Yeah. You yeah, literally had to go into the, imagine like, at the front office. Okay. Here, like you just literally just stood there the whole day, the whole day yeah you doing were, anything or just you were allowed there. to go and get your food like at break time that no. sounds like a case or something yeah, it, yeah. Doesn't, it doesn't sound like it literally a literally thing. just stood there or nighttime detention nighttime detention stand on the landing like going to the forbidden <laughs> forest how long for an hour oh yeah Man, so if you were so if you were up it's like prison night, punishment like, yeah, <laughs> yeah if you were up messing like they'd be like right get down you can stand on the landing See, so you have to remember this is not a community school. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a because it's well, a voluntary school. Like, yeah. They can practically do what they want. Like. Do you think you would have preferved community school? No. Like, no. Oh. No, no. Do you like the All right. school? Boy. <laughs> I never really got in trouble that much. Like, like obviously, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but, like that, that was always outside. Of school, like, that was always in the boarding house. Like in school, I was would have been like a model student. Like I never, I think I got detention once in like first year for forgetting homework, but that was it. Like I never got in trouble in school time. Like, mm. but I was after school because the devil makes work for idle hands. Like, mm. <laughs> and like once all we had was say was soccer on a Monday, and that was it. Like, there was no other sports. Like, you might have had basketball or hockey. Like. Oh, yeah. Or water polo in your eighteen hundreds yeah. mansion. Yeah. Like, yeah. In <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but it was good. Like I enjoyed, I enjoyed my time there. Not at the beginning, like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you like Mammy's boy at twelve, like heading oh, yeah. off to stay away for a week. I was, I was it like nuns and priests? No, you? no. It was uh, like it was a religious school. Like obviously you had prayers and stuff in the morning, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't run by like reverends or anything. It, yeah. it was in the past. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's it wasn't when I was there, and it's not now. It's actually not even a boarding school anymore. They just it's a fucking prison. No, <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, it, it, it wasn't even that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even that. It was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was grand, like, 
there, it was strict, but like people needed that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think that's what's missing now. No one you think it's not strict enough? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Maybe I would give <laughs> someone a good backhand every once in a while. No, nobody ever got hit, like, but uh, it, w- it was strict. No Which made you stand hit. in the corner for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one ever got hit. No. Like, I've been hit in my time at. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> hit at my time in secondary school. By an unnamed. We, we are not going to disclose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. move, move it Someone talk about something yeah. else for a second. I'm gonna write this down. Um, when you went to Maynooth, did you stay up there or did you commute every day? Uh, no, I stayed up there for first year, so I got on campus accommodation, mm-hmm. and I was actually shared a house with a famous person. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I don't know whether I should name drop him really. Ah, uh, surely, no, sir, surely they won't mind. It's good publicity. Oh, okay. he won the very first Voice of Ireland. Oh. No, so you'll be able to fight that. But oh no! <laughs> yeah, no, you actually did. No way. Yeah, I was. Uh, to be fair, I wasn't. I was a dickhead. Like I, just, <laughs> uh, I, I just constantly was causing trouble the whole time in that class. And then, um, I think, did your own parents say it? What? Did your own parents say it? Or did you tell them? I did tell them, and they were like, "Good, <laughs> <laughs> you have it coming." And uh, like, I wrote something very stupid in a in an Irish thing, and um. That yeah. geezer. Yeah. It looks like Sean McLeeson. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Donald Gleeson. <laughs> yeah. I wrote something that was very stupid and I can't even remember what it was. Like, I think it was just very bad Irish and she just rolled up my coffee and went bang across the back of the head. And like, I played into it. It wasn't that sore, but I played into it. I put my head down the table and I was like, <laughs> I pretended to sob and I was like, uh, she was like, that is what happens. And, and then <laughs> I went and stuff like that. Everyone, everyone was like, for our deaf listeners, I have my mouth open. Everyone was like, <laughs> and, she, and and she, and then she just went and sat back down, and like I'd never seen anything like it. Probably because it's illegal. Yeah, but, yeah. 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 She had to teach it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've never even been to the point that I'd want to do that. Like, and yeah, I've had Tommy for two years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Although in Iceland with his gloves. That was probably like... That was a... <laughs> <laughs> in Iceland, uh, yeah. we, we were after being ice skating and um, and we were, after, we were just coming out and it was like, I was one of the last people out the door and I walked with three steps, put one glove on. Fuck, where's my other glove? So I said to... Um, this was... Aaron, Tommy was the last person coming out. Oh. After, this was before he realised the glove. So the other group had gone... And left uh, to go to the shopping centre, which is like five kilometres. Which away. Yeah, <laughs> was a fair distance. And there was like there was like four people left talking to Aaron, What's including so about the glove. Well, well I, it was to keep my hands, hands from not getting cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so I was like, wait, can you can you all wait here? I'm just going to go in and get my glove. So I looked around for ages, no sign of the glove, not anywhere. I still don't have the glove. <laughs> yeah. I, I was looking around. I was like, fuck. So I, I just had to go with only one glove. Yeah. Left and I got a phone call then from the other teacher. I was like, where are you? Like, Tell me fucking beeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, most people listening will probably know who we are. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who I am, though. No, no, no they won't, no, re- they won't no. recognise you at all. No. With your distinct voice. Distinctive cabin oh, accent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had some pretty harsh punishments in school as well. I remember a kid threw a bottle out the window and she made uh, the student climb out the window to get the bottle. He couldn't walk out and she made him climb out the window. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me of the story, right? He's a private school boy as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Where did you go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay, cut this. <laughs> it was probably fairly similar to where I was. Like. Yeah. Uh, a bit Protestant. Huh? A bit Protestant. A bit Protestant. No, his was actually Protestant. <laughs> Mine actually was. Yours yeah. pretended. Yeah, mine's yeah. pretend Protestant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, ours was like plantation school. Like. God. Yeah, like from sixteen hundreds, like. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, there was like six of them. There was big games. There was, it was the four hundred year anniversary when I was leaving, and we had like oh, had like Commonwealth games between us. Like. <laughs> 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 yeah, like we we went up to Johnny Garner's one in Johnny Garner's one in Skillet and all, and we went round each one like having football matches and stuff. For a six hundred like. year anniversary. Yeah, yeah. six hundred years. <clears throat> yeah, actually, some of them met the Queen and all, like. Yeah, I didn't get to meet the Queen. Oh no, what a, what a shame that must yeah, have been. Yeah, yeah. How far was it from your house? Oh, it was only like 30 minutes. Like. So why, why did you? 
Bored because I had yeah. like five brothers and five sisters. Oh, okay. And we That's all funny. went there, and we came. Like I grew up on a council estate, like. So my mother knew. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was probably a good idea to send us there. Like, Get them the fuck out of that. Plus, the school, the local school, didn't have a very good reputation at that point. To be fair, it's completely turned around now. Like, yeah. You know, core mm. principles brilliant, but uh, it just didn't. There was just a lot of kids in it. Like, you no know, yeah. rough background, poorer families. Would yeah. you ever teach that? Did I? Yeah. No, I would, would though. Mm. Yeah, it's on my doorstep. Like. Yeah, literally throw a stone and smash a window in it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that future <laughs> fire. <laughs> throw a stone. Yeah, figure of speech. Yeah. Um, uh, would you send your own kids to the boarding school? It's Well, it's not a boarding school anymore, but oh. no, I probably wouldn't, only because the education was more restricted. So yeah. the subjects, oh. obviously because the numbers were so low and teachers, teacher numbers then were low, you didn't have... Like ours was construction studies or French. You couldn't do the two of them together. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so things like that. So that's probably why I wouldn't. That'd be the only reason, really, why I wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, in community schools, you have more teachers, so you get more subjects and more options. Like. Yeah. And as a teacher, would you like your kids to go to the school you teach at? Uh, it wouldn't really bother me, like. Yeah. But surely that's a bit weird, though, for the, like, student. But like, if, you're, if your yeah, parent school. is the teacher... And yeah. they're teaching you. I feel yeah, like but like bit... management would take more that than likely that. take that into account yeah. and yeah. not put them in there. Like, yeah. Yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, using your timetable and yeah. uh, classes and stuff like. They were weird having their child in your class. Like, yeah, or giving out to them like yeah. you just out to them. I'll, 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 right yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Do not forget <laughs> this. <laughs> I'll see you after school. <laughs> you know for that you're washing the dishes. But like, say it's like, alright guys, did everyone do the homework? And your son's just like, I did! Yeah, <laughs> and then he's like, yes, like, I know you did. Yeah. <laughs> I had you it. <laughs> then actually, I have a niece in, uh, she's in first year now, and she had like a practice geography CBA, mm. and her, her mother, my sister obviously, asked me to uh, help her out with it. So she went in like, and the teacher was like, God, this is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> she put it, up on the, he put it up on the wall and everything. I was like an example of how good it can be. Like, she little did he know she was a geography it teacher, but was after doing it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have a similar story where my brother um, came home from primary school one day and went to Dad's, and was like, Dad, I need to make um, a volcano. But it was like for geography or something. And uh, he's like, when does that have to be in? And he's like, tomorrow. And he's like, are you serious? He's like, when do you know about this? Like, it was since the start of the week. It was due on Friday. Yeah. And he was told the first day. So my dad, right, he was like, he was like fuck's sake, right? So Sam then at the da- like, table got duct tape, got everything, and just was like, right, we're going to do this. And... Like, of course, being in primary school, <laughs> my brother just left. He, like, like you know at the kitchen, like, kitchen table, yeah. like, you're working on a project, and then, like, obviously, <laughs> they, they leave, obviously, yeah. and it's yeah. just you doing the project. Yeah, yeah. So that my dad my dad was there, and, like, my dad always likes doing art and stuff like that. And he, he got into it. He started, he got moss from his side and put it on. <laughs> it. He, he made this, like, he was like, this thing was going to be perfect, right? And he was like, I'm going to make my son win this award, right? Yeah. Of, like, best volcano, right? And, like, he put, like, a LucasAid bottle. So, like, when it would react, it would explode. Like, he went all out here, right? And then day of the project, right? He was walking up with him, right? Holding the project. And then, um, oh, no. and, uh, like he's walking up right and he sees the teacher right and my brother turns to my dad snatches the project and runs up and he's like look what I did right <laughs> and my dad's face he was like son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> like did the I whole project and the teacher's like oh! <laughs> right and then my brother's name he's like did you do this and he looks at looks at my dad right and then looks at the teacher goes no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right and he's like bitch right and then so teacher comes up right end of the day dad's collecting him and um teacher goes and he's like you must be so proud of your son right won the won the pro- prize and stuff and he's like ah oh, yeah you know he did have some help <laughs> i did it and then he goes miss we do oh can play that <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
like, <laughs> <"Don't> <laughs> stop. He goes, he goes, Mr. My surname, right? And he's like, <laughs> we insert surname, here. insert surname here. And he's like, we do not like. We do not like pity our children or like take responsibility for doing the project. He's like, oh, I did the project. He's like, me. <laughs> <laughs> I did everything, right? And like, you, oh, he was just. Did, oh. did he set it off in class? Oh yeah, like it all worked. Got a standing ovation and everything. And dad didn't get. Dad, 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 dad didn't get anything from it. No. Yeah. Except the glory, his son, the, the, the glory of his son. The glory of his son. But like, yeah. he took all the like glory, like. Yeah, that was like, it was a big project. It was obviously CBA poster. I was like, right, you're not bound by like A2, so let's make mm-hmm. a double A2. <clears throat> Made a big, massive, big, massive, like, hand drawn map in the middle. Talked about sustainability. <laughs> Every single junior cycle buzzword was there. <laughs> Centre home, I was like, right, it was on a local quarry. I said, and she lived beside it, like, I was like, get your ma to go out. Take a couple of pictures of the quarry, you know, primary source here. You're after taking a picture. Go out, have a look at the, they have a factory that's beside it that sells the finished stone, like, and whatever, paving and all. Went out, I said, go out and do that. That was the only thing her mother had to do. And she didn't get it. <laughs> I was rage. <laughs> Left spaces and all for them, so the poster looked oh, stupid, like, because the pictures weren't oh. there. Yeah. So, that was, yeah. She asked me then afterwards, and I was like, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not happening. Yeah. Yeah. No, get the ball up. Did you, like, do the poster, essentially? No, I didn't. No, I, I guided her exactly <laughs> where to <laughs> be. Exactly <laughs> where to be. She just told uh, her what to do. Pretty much, yeah. But uh, at least she has it now as a template for CBA go to move forward. Sure, that's how it always goes, though. Like, yeah, it always kind of just turns into people just kind of telling you what to do. Like yeah, scene. but you need that, like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You need it for the first one. Then the second one, you kind of know, mm, yeah. you know, where to be and what to do, like, or whatever. Like, for the computers project. Like, you are doing everyone's project. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much did everyone's. But, oh, uh, lads, I gave one to a student. I literally gave the project, like, Everything that he needed, I really guided. Hope I really hope it's not one of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, really no, I, I didn't officially I give him his project, but I gave him enough scaffolding yeah, to be able to yeah, do yeah, it. Like. And uh, he literally handed me back the exact file that I gave him, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's it." Like, and I was like, "But like, are you not finishing it? Like, you know, you're not going to do the write up or the video or whatever." Like, oh no, no, f- twelve weeks, yeah. twelve. Weeks to do that. <laughs> I, I have. Oh, I was literally going to guess yeah. that person. Yeah. yeah. I was like. Jesus. What? No. Dad, <laughs> see that day that we. Uh, you had to like bring it in. Stress. And submit it. Right. That morning, another student came in and was like, like, I have to go. And I was like, where are you going? Like, I said, There's, I can't see any of your images on your HTML file. Oh, no, 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 I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. And I was like, where are you going? Like, I said, there's no images on your file. Like, do you not want to fix this? Like, no, I have to go. He's <laughs> <laughs> ran away on some apprentice trip. Apprenticeship trip. Yeah, yeah. I actually stayed at home so, while they go on that to finish. Instead of finishing it, 30% of your grade, by the way, mm-hmm. instead of finishing it, he went on the trip. So I was like, right. Oh, I actually, that was like probably one of... Very few times that I actually meant cursing at a student. Like, yeah. I was like, are you for fucking real? <laughs> <laughs> that was one time. Like. Yeah. For context employers, if you're listening, he did not mean to curse at a student. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't do it at all. No, never happened. <coughs> Hyperbole. Yeah, mm. I wanted to, but I didn't. Oh that, exactly. That, that day, though, was the most stressful I like computer really science day. Yeah, yeah. I stayed up, though, because I, I got it done. We I got, I got it done earlier. Well. But, like, but, I had everything scaffolded for everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. literally had, like, you do this section on this page. You do it. I had a timeline set out for everybody. Like, yeah. And just nobody followed it. Mm, yeah. I think it was, yeah, it was like... I finished yeah. my project five thirty in the morning. That morning, I stayed up, and let me tell you, it was the most like fulfilling thing thing to have yeah, it done. Yeah, yeah. I was like, thank God. But like, 
I came in and like the stress on your face, like I had yeah. it done. You're like, give it to you. <laughs> you're yeah. just like, <laughs> just give it to just me. Give it to me. Yeah. I, don't, I actually, I, I actually wasn't. I'm not a person to get stressed out. Like I was. See, when I first came here, right, it was a big culture shock because I obviously had gone to private school. private uh, board no. school. Yeah. There was 32 in my year. We get it. You're better than us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I had gone to that school which was very strict you held the door for people like manners were expected yeah see you uh, uh, then Sometimes went and taught life. taught there for my first year at PME second year at PME went to a small school in Cavan as well there was only like 500 students again there was a little bit of arseholeness in some of them uh, no, it's not here yet no then I came here <laughs> and it was a massive, this school was huge compared to anything that I had taught in before. And like the range of students was your, completely Your different. first class was us, wasn't it? Like our group, or like one of your first classes yeah, yeah. teaching would was... Been, yeah, would have been, yeah. Like CSP and SPH. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the look of the yeah, like, Be yeah. honest, was there like days where you completely forgot about that and you're like, fuck, what am I going to teach my SPHE class? Or you just, no, you no. just came up and talked about anything. No, anyway. not, not. You see, SPHE and CSP, like, even back then was brilliant because you, I could literally just come in and put a word on the board and you could spend an hour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that was the whole idea. It's the whole idea of it, trying to get, tease out your opinions on certain things that's going on in the world. Like, that's the whole point of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, SPHE, obviously, there's like, making sure that you know how to look after yourself and clean yourself and eat f- proper foods and all that. But CSP was just like, and I still do it, like I just come in and put a word on the board, like I give them 10 or 15 minutes and then we'll all just have a talk and a debate about it. Like, Here. Goes in just as bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's discuss this. Uh, yeah, but there was, that time I may or may not have made a student cry. <laughs> <laughs> what happened, what would have happened in this story if you had have made a student cry? If I had to have, uh, there was like an argument in the class and he called a girl a slut. Jeez. Oh. In the class. Oh, oh. And nobody kind of passed much remarks off it. Like, like the girls didn't even like come in on it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So I was like, right, I have to stand up for these girls here. So yeah. I came in and I was like, "The fuck you did?" <laughs> yeah, I was like, Not "That's right. that's you know." And I said, "Girl, it's like you're allowing him to normalize that language around you." Mm-hmm. So like he now thinks, or the class now thinks that you're okay with somebody using that those terms, like. Yeah. And uh, then we had been talking about this was the time that everybody went round saying that I said the N word. <laughs> <laughs> To one of the students, and that was not what I actually said. At all. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, what happened was I was telling a story about being in another school that I, actually it was the school I went to, and uh, there was a lot of like doctors' kids, and it it had become really multicultural, like mm. because there was a lot of like I suppose the wealthier families around the town from like you know say like the doctors and nurses and stuff from the. the hospital, the local hospital, and were sending their kids there. So I was out training the, the under, whatever, second years, I think it was, right? And one lad, there were, there were two um, black lads, like, and one lad said to the other boy, you know, I, N-word, mm-hmm. you know, come over here, like. And I said, I was like, went through him for a shortcut, like. I was like, what do you think you're saying, like? You know, I said, you can't go around saying that. And he's like, yeah, but like, we're both black. And I was like, but you still can't say that. Mm. I was like, there's about 12 white lads around here. I said, do you know what I mean? Like, you're normalizing that language around them. So Mm. if they, like, if a white lad says that to you, are you going to get offended by it? Like, and he was like, well, yeah, of course I would. And I'm like, yeah, but you're using it. Like, Mm. and this was the story, like, but then the story went round that I had said, I called (laughs) one of the lads in the class. Yeah. He's actually, he's not here, like. No, he left. But, uh, yeah, that went round. And they were like, so, like, we're telling. I was like, oh, sure, he won. Management, like, and I was like, no. Like, I don't care what he actually tell them because that was not exactly what that yeah, happened. Yeah, that's It was literally a story about normalising language. And then your man went and called you one slut, like. Yeah. 
Yeah. After talking about all of this, like, yeah. and then that was it. Like, I just lit up. <laughs> like, yes. You can't. Like, you might have lit up. Yeah. We don't like, know. May or may not have. You theoretically I can, can neither confirm nor deny yeah, that it actually <laughs> happened. Like, but uh, <laughs> your solicitor and I'm sitting beside you. Yeah, you say. but I was just like, you can't, uh, you can't say that in front of people, like, you know, because then you're normalizing the language in the in the oh, group, yeah. like. You know what I mean? Like, say, it, say us group here decided to use some term about somebody. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Like, you normalise it in, in a group yeah. and then it just becomes normal yeah, in yeah, everyday yeah, life. Yeah. You know, so that was that was the whole idea of it. Like, but mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, 12, 13-year-olds don't actually get what mm-hmm. you're trying to get across yeah. to them. I'd say hated your job at the start, did you? Absolutely yeah. hated <laughs> Why did you pick like, here? I know you've... T- I, I didn't not- pick here. Like, I was, I, I was going to a different... I was going for an interview in a different school and it was passing this way and the school I was in before said that this the principal said go up and try this school that it was growing and whatever that, mm, you know they needed help they, you know, <laughs> was, there, there would be jobs coming in it anyway yeah, because yeah. it was getting so big so I just went in met with one of the management and it had just been I had done loads on Office 365 and the school had just switched over from mm. Google to Office and it just really suited yeah. me to come in here like and then the pandemic hit, and I had loads of technical ability yeah. and helped oh, yeah. with uh, the smooth running of all of that. Like, mm, like teams now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So done like loads of training with the, the teachers even p- before the pandemic hit. Like, yeah. Mm. But uh, yeah, just literally la- landed in my lap. Yeah. Really, like it wasn't lucky. that. It was lucky. I know you've discussed this with us like outside the podcast, but how close? Were you to leave after? Oh, I was fairly close. Like, I actually got sick and all, like... Really, like, yeah, sick from stress like, from... Yeah, yeah, yeah sick from Seriously. stress, yeah, yeah, yeah. What I had, like, did you just do it? I, I had a rough time. He, told, like, he oh. told me this on the bus once, and yeah. I was like, what? Oh, no, I like, it wasn't... Hard time. Yeah, I did have a hard time, but it wasn't just... I had a lot of pressure on myself, yeah. because mm-hmm. I wanted the best for students, like... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I expected students to actually want to be here, mm-hmm. which is what I had been doing, you know, in the last in the past, two schools. Yeah, like, yeah. So when I came here and students just wouldn't do what you asked them to do, like, yeah, but it was a big culture shock. Like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I got like proper sick. Like I'm still on like medication now, like. From, from from all that stress, stress. And yeah, like now again, from, from, we not, ruined them. not not just yeah, not just well. because of the uh, thing. Like there was a lot of stuff happened. Like my son was born premature. Uh, mm. Like we nearly lost him. Yeah, there was a just, lot just of stuff. Help, yeah. yeah, and then after all of that, I came in to teach here. Like, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. I was probably sick before I even came in here. Yeah. Uh, I ended up with like stomach ulcers and. And it's purely stress because I don't yeah. drink alcohol or smoke like yeah. much. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I it the was, job. The wee, the wee fellow was born in May. He was supposed to be June or July. July. He was mm. supposed to be born in July. Mm. He came in May, and was very, he was on life support for a, a week, and like was up in Dublin, and I was going was up and down to Dublin. Just, second second one. Yeah. up and down to Dublin. <clears throat> for a week and then up and down to Cavan every day for eight weeks. He was in hospital for eight weeks after. Mm. And I was trying to get, I was just literally the night before that happened, I was smoking a cigar on the deck in, in the beaten heat. <laughs> <laughs> just just <laughs> after handing in my thesis for my uh, PME, like. Never hard days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, that was, that was on the May. May the twentieth. Uh, I don't know what day it was. Whatever day it was, I was only after handing the whole thing in. We were having a celebration at the house. My nephew was only after handing his thesis in at the same time, and we were smoking cigar on my deck. And I still have the picture of it. Like, yeah, the two of us sitting there, and then the next day, no, sorry, even it was that evening, because we went to watch Deadpool. <laughs> Deadpool, two. Deadpool, Deadpool 2 Deadpool 2 yeah. we went Daddy to watch it the timeline of we went to watch it right and I was in the thing and my cor- girlfriend at the time current wife she looked at me she was like oh like something happened like and I was yeah. like oh maybe you just pissed yourself like <laughs> 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 she was probably pregnant at the time yeah. the epic it was a comedy oh, it was a comedy in the cinema like 
it was a comedy, you know, whatever. Oh, she oh, is oh, heavily oh, pregnant. Oh, oh. It wouldn't be, you know, yeah. abnormal yeah, for something yeah, like yeah, that yeah. to happen. So I was like, just go out to the toilet and just check, like, or whatever. And she went out and she's like, I, I don't know why I, like, turned to make sure she was all right the whole way out, like. And then she just, like, shook her head. And I was like, oh, she's shit, like, something's like, bad. Right, we have to go. I was like, what the fuck? I don't know what's that from. So we, we went out and it turned out then that she was bleeding, like. So oh, we geez. rushed, like, literally we were in the town, like. Yeah. Yeah. So we rushed to the hospital anyway and they brought her in and, like, just to point out, men are treated very poorly in maternity wards. Like, mm. so went in, and uh, obviously you can't stay in a, mat- a man mm. can't stay in yeah, a maternity yeah. ward for whatever safety. I assume, like, uh, so they literally were like, "Right, you have to go home." Oh, and I was like, "Sure, I didn't know what was going on. They didn't yeah. tell us anything at that yeah, point. Yeah. Like, they literally brought up, checked the child's heartbeat. Everything was okay. A little bit of blood had come out. Well, it looked like a lot, but they mm. said it was a little bit." Went home, brought me right. I was literally just in the door. Went back had to changed. Door. I took off my clothes. <laughs> got a phone call to say you need to get back in. It's an emergency. Oh my god! Blah blah blah. Oh, got in the car. I swear to God, I'd say if I touched the road in places like <laughs> the car was how, how, how far did it take you to get up there? It was. It's a thirty-minute drive, and I'd say it was about fifteen minutes. Like. Like Jesus. I abs- I just put the hazards on like at floored it. Yeah. I wasn't stopping for any guard or yeah. anything like. Yeah. So got down there like even through because you had to go straight through the main town of Cavan. Like, Mama swung. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I literally yeah. Just put the hazards on, yeah. put the hazards on, and just floored it. Like yeah. I'd say I could have been doing sixty mile an hour down the Living like, the GTA dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. Now there is like a whole thing that if it's an emergency, there is whatever the guards can. Eat. You can actually ring them and they'll. Like a scorcher, yeah. but I didn't even have time yeah. for that. Like, literally got into the room. She, she, my wife was being wheeled out, like into mm-hmm. surgery as I was literally running up the stairs. Like, Jeez. it was like something out of a movie. Like, yeah, got in, <clears throat> literally gave her a kiss. Didn't know what was going to happen. It was a section. It was massive surgery. Like, mm. went in. Uh, I'd say maybe it was like ten or fifteen minutes. Like, I hadn't a clue. What to do? Yeah. We're watching yeah. it felt like a year shit probably, yeah. 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 We felt it was wheeled out in a plastic bag. Uh, oh, like, no. Yeah, like pretty much in a plastic bag. Like, Jeez, uh, no. skin, a colour that you would never even think skin could be. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? Because it was so premature. Like blue? Like, yeah, like blue yeah. and like purpley purple, blue. Yeah. Like, yeah. And uh, brought out like, like no his chest hadn't formed properly like so his, oh, mm. the the rib cage like was soft yeah so like his whole like as he was breathing like you could see the whole thing sinking away and like mm. like it was in about for our deaf li- listeners about this yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so it was it used to go in about that much like and uh, which was obviously cables and shit hanging yeah. out yeah. everywhere i went off then and didn't really realize that she hadn't come back out like mm. so I was like you know whatever sitting in a room waiting they brought the, the wee lad off to be cared for like you weren't obviously allowed uh, to go I'd with I'd say you'd got like one knock at him did you? literally just as they were on by like oh yeah. my god uh, they hard. stopped for like two seconds just to be like you know this is your, your son, son obviously yeah. but we have to go like yeah. and uh, yeah so I remember that and then I think she was in for about two and a half hours after that. She had to get blood, loads of stuff. Like, my wife, like, mm-hmm. uh, then when she came out, she was off her head on morphine. <laughs> 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 she didn't want to call no. him. We had discussed his name, like, and I wanted to call him Harry, like, mm-hmm. and she was like, no, I don't like, like, Harry. And then my second name, obviously, it didn't really go. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, she was like, yeah, but do you like Harry? <laughs> like Harry <laughs> Phillips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that TV presenter. And then I was like, yeah, but it's such a cool name. <laughs> I was like, it's two yeah. peas off happy life. Like. Yeah. And, uh, so anyway, got her when she was like no whacked out, and I was like, let's call him Harry. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we it's called like, him Harry yesterday. <laughs> and then, this is all back to the boarding school as well. When we went in, right, Harry was obviously Prince Harry, right? Yeah. And then, Harry and Meghan were getting married at the time. And yeah. when we went in to school in Cavan, right, there was a Meghan right beside oh. him there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so they were like, oh, is that after Prince Harry? And we were like, 
No. Oh. Because <laughs> it was obviously happening at yeah, the time. Like, yeah. And we were like, no, no, we just like liked it. Because like, they were like, oh, we thought you'd do Because we had told them the story of being in the cinema. Yeah. We were like, oh, we thought maybe it'd be Ryan or something. Like, after uh, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan was like, we were like, no. <laughs> you might do some dead. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, we called him, called him Harry anyway. And then... Oh, I think for about two days. Like, I was sh- so stupid at the time. Like, you don't you didn't really realise how serious the situation was. Because mm-hmm. everything was played down. Like, yeah. So I was just doing, like, normal shit. Sam was in hospital with the wee lad. I had the other fella at home. Like, so I was just going around, like, I think I'm... Into the park and stuff. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. like, you know, just dog. trying yeah. to do... Because everything was so up in the air, like. And yeah. the other lad had to be looked after to try to keep it as normal as possible. Like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I think the morning that he got really sick, I was in, like, the, the motor factors. <laughs> <laughs> like, just picking up something from the car. Like. And I remember getting the phone call and saying, you need to get down here. Like, this is two days after the whole ordeal. Like, yeah. needed to get down. Like, and it was like a blur. Like, they had an ambulance crew was called. There was, like, his, his lung had collapsed. So they had to put in, like, a chest drain. Like, this was all done with no morphine or anything, like, mm, for the yeah. wee fella, like. So they had to do, it was all an emergency. There was, there was wires, even more wires hanging out. There was a big, massive drain coming out of his, well, it's not massive with him, like, it was mm. probably very small. Yeah. Like, but it was coming out of the side, his side, like, and he was just kind of, like, in, like, panned out. Like, spread like, Spread out. Like, like yeah. it had to be spread out, obviously, because the drain was under his, yeah, yeah. his uh, armpit, like. So, yeah, just completely spread out. We had to take pictures, they, they brought up, they tried to get, they asked us our religion, like, and they were like, oh, do you want, like, a minister to come and, like, pretty much give him his last rites, because if he dies on the way, like, it's not our fault, pretty much. Yeah. Like. So we had to sign all these documents. Now, this is all, like, with, in a room this size, right, and there must have been about 50 doctors, nurses, and they were just used. in the middle of all and they were like oh we can't find a Presbyterian I was like I don't give a shit <laughs> <laughs> just get a fucking priest or whatever you've got like do you yeah, know what I mean yeah. like it's all Christianity it's all the same, like, it's all the same. I was like just get someone like. yeah. so they found a priest anyway and he came up and he said a prayer and did whatever like uh, then we'd sign these documents and then they asked us like would we allow them to do an experiment on him on the way up and like, this is all when you're about to sign your, your child's life away, like, because yeah. essentially that's what you're doing. Like. Yeah. So went up and he, uh, uh, he was fine. Now, the experiment was only to mon- monitor his temperature as he went, so we allowed him oh, to do that. Like, oh, uh, yeah. And then my wife, obviously, she had him, like, obviously, it was a section that was a yeah. massive gash yeah. in her, like, she had to wait, and she was like, I'm not waiting here, like. I have to go up to Dublin, like. Yeah. And uh, they were like, no, like we can't discharge you. You have to be here for a week. It was an emergency yeah. section, whatever. She's like, I don't give a fuck. What do you have to do? Like, I will be walking out of here. <laughs> and they were like, no, 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 just wait, wait, please. So they rang the hospital in Dublin and were like, this woman is going to leave. Can you accommodate her up there? Like, mm. you know, and keep her there. Mm. So they brought her up. So they sorted that now. Yeah. And she went up in a taxi then with a nurse and whatever. In a taxi. Yeah, yeah. Because she wasn't... Taxi medically, driver must have got nothing, paid well. <laughs> yeah. Me- medically, there was nothing wrong with her. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So she didn't, she, she didn't need a, a, an ambulance. Like, yeah. It would have been a waste of money, money really. Yeah. Yeah. So they brought her in, um, in a taxi anyway. And I followed up in the car. And again, maternity hospitals, not treating men very well. I walked in and I was like, my son was transferred from Cavan, you know, mm. has he been, whatever. They were like, oh... They're just after, as I was driving up, no parking, by the way, at this hospital. So you had to pay for parking on, in Dublin City. Like, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Literally came up, the ambulance crew was coming back out. I walked in, I said whatever, and they're like, yeah, go up to this floor. Uh, walk to the floor. It's like Fort Knox, like baby. It's, no, seriously, there's like time lock doors. You have to press a button. Somebody has to allow you in. Like, seriously? Yeah, yeah. Because of infections and everything. Yeah. They're, yeah. So, um, they're so conscious of infections and stuff coming in. So went up anyway. Left me sitting outside for an hour and a half. Not knowing whether he was alive, what had happened. Mm. Meanwhile, I was waiting on a phone call from, the, from our own minister. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like doing whatever. Then, I think actually Sam nearly had come up. 
at that point, and that was when I found out what was going on. Like, do you know what I mean? So I just left in a room, like, Mm. and again, obviously, she had a clue what's going on. So we spent a week up there. I got one night in a hotel, a charity that was associated with uh, early babies, paid for a, a hotel up there. But they were like, we can only do it for one night. There's like Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. But that's full. Somebody had just come in. Now, to be fair, the person I'd come in had come from Derry. Okay. So I was like, you know, they deserve it more. Yeah. They have much further to come or whatever. So I was like, look, it's fine. I'll stay tonight and I'll drive up and down. It's, it's not that big a deal. Like, Sam is actually staying in the hospital. So it's grand, like. Yeah. So I drove up and down. And then he got home in six days, I think. He just went from strength to strength, which was great. And then yeah, we went eight weeks then in cabin after that and I was I remember the interview for here because I wore a suit I, had, I went to the hospital that morning and I think the interview was at like 12 o'clock or something so we used to literally go to the hospital at half nine in the morning stay there until they sent us home in the evening like cabin were great like because your parents of a child that's there they were they gave you your dinner and stuff like that like mm-hmm. yeah which is not like having people but no <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah yeah so they they did loads of stuff for us like which was brilliant and i still do charity every uh every january like like five normally run 5k every day in january this year we actually got two and a half thousand some of the other staff members oh, yes. took it all like, I, yeah, I yeah. so we raised two and a half thousand this year like and that'll go then to machinery or whatever yeah, they need. Like. Yeah. So, yeah, we did that. And that, that'd say that's probably more so why I w- got so sick more than the stress of... That would oh, my God, class. that's what the stress... <laughs> I, I yeah. completely... Yeah. That went off with a whole red... I completely yeah, yeah. forgot that That went off in a pure serious yeah. kind of... Yeah, thing. that's like the whole serious... Anything on this... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, that's what happened before I started here, like... Mm. To bring it to a more lighter note, then... Yeah. Have you done any pranks in your time? Yeah, so right, in, in the school I was in, because we were in a boarding school, right, like it was such an old school, so we had courtyards. There was one, two, three courtyards, but in one courtyard there was this old, proper Hogwarts looking bell, like. Mm. <laughs> like literally, that was church for. Church bell. Yeah, it was like a church bell, right? So if it was dinner time, like they'd ring the bell. And that's how you knew. Like, you could hear it across. Because yeah, it was in the courtyard, it acted like a speaker. Like, yeah. yeah. So you could hear it across the whole school. So they'd ring the bell, and then you, you knew it was uh, break time was over, or prep time, or tea time, or whatever. Mm-hmm. They used this bell. So we went out, and at Halloween time, we used to, running up to Halloween, we used to fill the first year full of shit. Like, it was all shit. Yeah. <laughs> but that, one of the two of the house staff, right, one was ma- the matron and, and the housemaster. Uh, the housemaster, or the, sorry, the, the matron died in a car accident, right? And then the housemaster hung himself off the bed because they were in love with each other. And this was the whole story, like Cecil and Miss Long was the, the two names, right? Yeah. But we'd fill them with shit, like. And, you know, we'd be like, you know, you have to be careful right this time of year. This is when it happened, like, and, you know. Oh, scary. So, like, some, yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. you can still see him hanging there, like, and all this <laughs> stuff. Like, <laughs> oh, like, no. You know, filling them with stuff, right? So, I know where you think this is going, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's even worse. <laughs> oh, right? no. So, what we used to do, like, when you, the seniors were obviously on one side of the courtyard and the juniors were on the other. Mm. And it was all time locked and all. But around that time, we used to put, I uh, shouldn't probably tell you this, but time locks, if you use tinfoil and cover the time lock, the magnet doesn't work. So we did that on the junior boys' dorms, right? And it was my turn to dress up as Cecil. <laughs> <laughs> so we dressed up as uh, Miss Long, obviously the girls did. And this has all happened the night before, the, the tours the night before we get off for Halloween. Yeah. So we went up, I was dressed in... Uh, ripped up lab coat covered in blood like white I used talcum powder on my hair to put it white <laughs> you wouldn't need that shoe man. polish <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't need that anymore uh, talcum powder shoe polish like just was fairly spooky looking like yeah so this this is at like yeah. 2 o'clock in the morning like 
So the, the juniors were all in bed. The housemaster was in his flat. We snuck up the stairs, like went in with like chains and stuff. Started whacking on the walls like, <laughs> the, and then I walk in like. So everybody's after being jumped up like. Yeah, I walk strange. in. One of the lads hadn't woken, so I got into the bed beside him like. <laughs> You're evil. <laughs> oh, the lads came in there with the chains like and banging it and the whole lot like your man woke up, saw me in the bed, <laughs> like, dressed as a ghost. Ball, the power devil was absolutely <laughs> sobbing. This man's like 12. <laughs> absolutely sobbing. Like, now remember, we had put this whole story in our head. Like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. you know, ghosts will be floating around. <laughs> this thing. Like, for weeks we were telling them. Like, this yeah. like, did he jump out of the bed or did he just no, sit there? No, literally just froze, screaming <laughs> and crying. Like, so then I got, I was like, oh, maybe I took a bit far there. I got up at his bed then, went off and went through the whole thing. Like, they were all like, Proper scared, like mm. yeah. the girls. They did like chains, but they did it more subtly. Like they had like a hi-fi thing with you know the battery powered ones yeah. with like screams and all on it. Like so, they came in oh, and press yeah. play, like and like they did this like kind of slow walk with chains rattling against the walls, mm. like with screams coming out of it. Like <laughs> so, they had, like obviously, the girls, yeah. <laughs> like imagine at two o'clock in the morning, oh, like this God. is happening. And it's all like it's a big theatrical thing, like. Yeah. So we did that anyway, and obviously there was commotion, like, and the principal lived right beside. It was a house joined to it, like. Yeah. So he came out, caught me dressed as a ghost. And was like, <laughs> "You stay there!" And like, he was a big man. Like, everybody was afraid of him, like. You stay, and then there was like down in the boot room, in the corridor, like I was standing. We weren't in the dorms anymore. I was standing down trying to get back over to my dorm to get cleaned off. Yeah. Like, mm. uh, he was like, you, and he was like big, massive, fat neck on him. Like, just, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. you can just Laughing. imagine, you know, the food just all, all the chins up and down. He went right to his forehead, like, he was raging. <laughs> then there was commotion obviously happening down there. So he ran down to see what was going on. I was like, I'm out of here. Like, yeah. ran over to the dorms, flicked on the taps in our dorm, right? Nothing came out of them. I was like, oh no. Ran into the, the other dorms. We had the, we, I was in TY, so the, the, that was a, a larger dorm that we all shared. And then the seniors, because it started, the, the size of the year started to get smaller as you went to older. Mm-hmm. Some people had dropped out or whatever. Uh, they were in separate like little dorms, so there was four in each little room. Like. So I went in, just washed off whatever, like, and went to bed. And I actually didn't get in trouble over that like you know he never yeah, came looking for yeah. us like it was a tradition sort of thing like so yeah. you got in trouble but you got in trouble like yeah, so, yeah but anyway later on that night we had heard this like banging on the wall right We're like, what the hell is going on like like this is now maybe half four five <laughs> <laughs> the first year first year <laughs> <you know, laughs> our dorm was adjoined to the matrons uh to the matrons Apparently, <laughs> she was like, boys, what the hell is that in there? Like, we're like, we're not doing that. We're like, we're actually sleeping now. She's like, there's war running. And I was like, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. And then the teams on, right? Oh, my God. And obviously, we, now, to be fair in our defence, we had said our sink is uh, blocked. Yeah, yeah. Left the taps running, block sink, the whole thing. Hours it was running, like, <laughs> hours. Hours. <laughs> destroyed the it was all carpet like destroyed the whole oh, carpet geez. the kitchen was underneath us went down through the oh, floor into the kitchen no. the on top of the steaklets yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's what the grease was <laughs> the chef came in the next day and was like what the fuck were you last night <laughs> and I was like nothing <laughs> I didn't say that like, yeah. I was like I didn't do anything <laughs> and uh, he was like, what are these fucking little bastards for? I had to come in here, there was six inches of water on the ground. In here, like, in. The whole place was destroyed. Like, he had to come in, like, deep clean everything because it obviously had come through the yeah, floor. Like, yeah. Had to deep clean the whole thing before, like, they could do breakfast or dinner or whatever. Like, yeah, that was probably the best <laughs> punch. <laughs> 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 get food for like three weeks because yeah, 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 yeah. And then we used to, like, no, I probably shouldn't say that. No, we know you say it. We get you. All right, yeah, yeah. So we were we used to smoke in the attic, like, because it was it was our it was our thinking that you were above the smoke alarms, like. 
Smokelands wouldn't go off. Yeah. Which was true, nobody could smell anything like, yeah. because it was yeah, yeah, you know, true. smoke rises. So it yeah. wasn't gonna come back down like yeah. <laughs> So we used to get like the best student. She used to do my homework for me. <laughs> so much of the model student. Yeah. 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 On well, a Sunday, her writing was very like mine, so I'd be like, oh, I had a rough weekend, will you? The slip out of 20. And she went, yeah. she, she, she actually went to college together as well. No. Was she one of your wives that you know? That you no, know? no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, so we used to, uh, we used to get up to the act. She'd be the lookout, like, mm-hmm. after yeah. prep. Because we had, like, we were in prep from, like, quarter to seven till half nine, like. Mm-hmm. That was just in a classroom, not being able to talk, do your homework, or study, like. Yeah. And every then, day. obviously, every day, <coughs> yeah. Then, in sixth year, like, we used to actually even stay longer, like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, we'd be in there maybe till half ten. Now, after half nine, you weren't supervised, and, like, the supervisor would come in and out to you. Yeah. But you were trusted enough not to be smoking. Yeah. <laughs> in, yeah. in the <laughs> attic. <laughs> uh, yeah. But the session was long. That... That's something that I always remember. Like yeah. it was a brilliant day. Did you, like, did you just open a window in the attic, or just let it sit? No, no, it was just just sat there. Like, I think my name is still up there. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. And like the ceilings were way taller than what they are here. Like, mm-hmm. you know, obviously yeah. it was an old building, so you were just clambering up into it. Like, yeah, yeah. Do we have any plans that we like, did? Any, yeah, we were, we used to do that like and turn them round, like because obviously it's like some of them wanted to have like a fiesta or something, yeah. and like at six year you're like especially farmers they were strong like yeah so we literally like were like shimmy in it. We were all up in one day with a micro. We could just literally have like yeah. three of us pick it up. We were gonna <laughs> we were gonna cling film your yeah, car. Right. As a car. Yeah, but then you got a new Mercedes, and we were like, oh well, we can't do it now. <laughs> Taking the tires off the car, and we're like, oh, like, like yeah. yeah. do a quick job, right? Like, I just, I, I have a jack at home I found in a ditch, and I have the jack in my own car. He has the jack in his car, so you have loads of jacks anyway. No, um, actually, one of the teachers came up to me and was like, "That's a very nice car that you've got, but that symbol on the front of it, like, I was just think, like, he literally was like, oh, just steal the president's car for uh, a mess." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh yeah." And then later on that day, he came up to me and was like. She's I have not stopped thinking about your car and that little Mercedes symbol on the top of it. Like, he's like, that could go missing. And I was like, I don't know how to do that. No, I wouldn't take the wheel off. Uh, I think I was, wrap it in cling film. No, well, like, I thought taking the wheel off would be class because we were going to take the wheel off, put it up on a jack and go to whatever class you're in. Wait till you're in a class for like second years. Just be rolling. Up, and get Ryan, or Ryan, <laughs> uh, whoops, get Ryan to dress up in his um, Apache pizza outfit that he has. He, does, he never worked there. Someone gave it to him. And, um, and and be like special delivery for Aaron. <laughs> and then open the door we'd roll the tire and run <laughs> like you have to say that would have been that would have been hilarious like, but, to be fair every the, only, the only thing is I would say about that is if you don't put the jack in the right place you could do a no damage to a yeah, car no, it's no, just no. the top of damage in the car yeah yeah. but the cling film thing now I, would, I don't think I would have got annoyed at Aaron really like yeah. I wasn't a fair, I wasn't somebody to, to get. We were no, it wasn't match, you that we were worried about. It's other teachers that were going to go like. Yeah, oh, right. we were more worried about other teachers. Yeah, we, we, we knew you were yeah, like, yeah. You would laugh at it. Like yeah. you probably call us dickheads, but you would yeah, laugh yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were going to try to steal your keys, but you never yeah. talk about your bloody pants. Yeah. 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 Then, yeah. then they said no to the wheel, so I was like, doors even handier to take off. He just took it to an extreme. We were like, we should do something to ask. We should do something. We should, do, we should do something to Aaron's car, right? Yeah. And then me and Dara are like, let's just cling film it. And it's like, yeah. And Tommy's like, no, we have to take off the wheels. Like, it's just yeah, no, gradually more like, extreme. I don't, that shite, like, I don't think anybody else would really care that much, would they? It, no, Because you're not doing any harm, like. I'd say, like, something like. Um, taking a wheel off is such a nuisance. Yeah. Like, that's a nuisance, like. <laughs> That is a pain in the hole. Even just to do when you have to take a wheel off is a pain. Like imagine but it'd be a lot more fun if it's, if if I know I'm going to get to roll it into your class. Yeah. <laughs> like imagine you had to rush home and you come out and four of your wheels are gone. Yeah. And you just see them sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In a big time. <laughs> you leave the jacket on a dog. Yeah. <laughs> no, worse I'll tell you the jacket off. What? what? <laughs> yeah. Well, obviously he's not. He's not finished now, but like he can get glass markers, like, like. No, for like, glass. Oh, right, yeah. for, for like auctioning cars. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'd be funny, like. <laughs> <laughs> put a, take a picture of him, put up a like coat pack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna 
a different line. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Well, well, you heard it. It would be very funny, right? Shouldn't probably say this. Like, if you went round taking a photo of, say, some somebody's car, right, and then putting up on Dundee, <laughs> trying to find their number, like, are you, are and you post it, they'd be like, oh, I'm ringing about uh, the car you have on Dundee. Put up the Mercedes for, like, two grand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah 50,000 miles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah torture, man. Like, and then, because, obviously, because it's on somebody else's... Yeah, the car they got taken down. Yeah, that'd be gas. Not a good idea, though. No, 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 no. Did you do anything really in college? Anything mad? Apart from, you know, the... Oh, just mm. the usual drinking, Pride, like... Pregnancy, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pregnancy, yeah. That didn't say... Uh, yeah. How many, how many years left of college did you have? Was it your final year at that? No, that was... I was in second year, like... Oh. Your parents and you did five you. years. My parents... Oh, my God, my mother was, like... My old fella was never really around anyway, so he... Wouldn't have really phased him. Mm. But my mother was like, what are you going to do, like, with college or whatever? And I was like, well, I'm going to finish it, like. Mm. So she was a bit like, holy shit, what are you going to do? She wasn't mad at me, like. Yeah. But she was like, well. Was the girlfriend more well off than your family would have been, like? No, no. She she came, like, she would have been from a rough part of Dublin, like. Oh, jeez. And then moved down. But, like, she had, like, a lovely house, like, and her mm. mother worked or whatever, but, like, Sorry, her parents were split up. Estate, no, 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 no. She had, like, an acre of land and all, like... Oh, well, land. Yeah. And she had sold... <laughs> yeah. Good road frontage. Yeah. <laughs> Good road she frontage. Shuffled. No, she had, she had a lovely house, like, and she was in full-time employment and all at the time. Okay, like, she had finished time. college and had... was, you know, proper working, like... Mm. I was still fucking about in my news. Yeah. Uh, Being a bum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, so I was in second year. year, so I drove up and down for second and third year and then did the Masters in Climate Change. Drove what up and down. Absolutely useless. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, that's a, a subject now for Leeds. Climate change is a subject. Is, yeah, it is. is it? Climate change and sustainability, yeah. So I'd be qualified to do right that. Right up that alley for Yeah, no one has to be qualified to learn it, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, you're not going to attract it. No. <laughs> Actually, it would be. You'd be surprised. Like, It'd be like grinds. Yeah. But anyway, we went to... Uh, I went, did that, and then worked in the mood for a year and a half. Um, could not get... Now, remember, folks, this is like 2014, 15. So mm. the recession was just about over. Like, yeah. So there was just no work. like, uh, And then was like... Fuck it, sure. It's only another two years. I'll go back and do the PME, like. Mm. So in, I decided that in like May or something. So I applied for it, and then no, I, anyway, I had applied for it anyway, right? And in the first January that I worked in Minute, I had applied for a position in an environmental consultant place in Dublin. And they said, no, uh, we have, we've literally just taken on somebody, but we'd, you know, we'd really like to keep your, uh, your CV or whatever on file. Now, I thought this was just like a PFO, like, you know, please fuck yeah. off, like. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, right, Grant. Went and applied, had paid my first 6,000 to do the, uh, to do the PME out of my pocket, by the way. No grants or anything, because it was at the same level. Mm-hmm. Uh so I went, I paid that, went in, January came, that company rang me and was like, we have a position, uh, it's available for you, you know, whatever. But if I'd have pulled out, I'd have lost six, six, six grand. Six grand. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you know, thank you for whatever, but I'm going to finish this anyway. Mm. And then I might, you know, After, afterwards. Yeah. And then started teaching, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Like, this is grand, like, you know. I had a young family, so I was like, time off is perfect. Mm. Mm. You know, the, even the times that you actually work is perfect because, you know, you can get the kids from school or whatever. Yeah. Huge wages. Can oh, I don't know about that. Can I ask you a question? This may be a bit too personal, and we'll cut it if you don't want to, but were you scared of being a dad, like when you found age? No, no. And I don't mind, you can leave this one in. Uh, no, I wasn't at all. I had probably six nieces and nephews at that point yeah. uh, was when used to be around kids was able to look after kids like mm. I was the rock so you so you excited about it no I wasn't excited no I was I was Sorry. nervous but I yeah. wasn't afraid like when, of, you, when you were first home like were you like I knew like fuck. she actually oh. didn't know it was me that was like you know mm. you need to get a test and whatever like mm. I was like 
you know, just the spidey senses. I'm the baby whisperer. Spidey senses. The spidey senses. <laughs> the spidey senses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I, uh, she would have been not more nervous because she was from a small. Uh, she only her and her sister like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So she was more nervous than I was. I was ner- I was nervous about what I was going to do. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? But I had, I knew. We had the plan made that I was going to drop out, finish off the geography, drop out that year. He would have been then six months by the time I was going back. Uh, she was only working part-time. Her mother was very good, helped us out with babysitting and stuff. Mm. Yeah, it was hard, like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's tough being a full-time parent and a full-time student, like. Yeah. And trying to, like, at one point I was doing a thousand miles a week. What? Yeah, a thousand oh, miles every week. Yeah. And what did you work as at that stage? A delivery driver. Oh. <laughs> so I used to. Oh, so that's how we got a thousand miles a week. You were like, <laughs> no, five hundred and fifty miles. It it used to take me to go to Manute back every week. It was fifty five miles up and fifty five miles back. Jeez. And then it was four nights so a week, ten times every week. Yeah, Monday to Friday, like. Yeah. Up there and back. back. Five days. Five days. Quick maths there. Five, five times maths. two. Yeah, but, five, <laughs> but why are you going up and down five times? Like, why are you going up and down twice? One day. 55 miles up. 55 oh, I thought you meant 55 miles, miles both ways. I was like, that no, seems no, very no. short. 55 up and 55 down. Yeah. Uh, and then four nights in a Chinese, like, delivering food. Oh, cool. 100 <laughs> miles a night, like. In Cavan or? In Cavan. That's on the uh, LinkedIn. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I've done my, I've done my research. I did that for years and years and years. That was how I got through college. Like that's how I paid for all of my stuff. Like, how does delivery drivers like get paid? Did he get like a share of the? So you get you get a float coming in. So we used to get forty five quid for coming in. Yeah, and then you got for just being for just, just being there. Just being there. Uh, and then, so they were paying. That was the service. Like obviously you were providing for whatever. Mm. Like, but. Yeah, you got 45 quid for coming in, and then if it was a local delivery, it was two euro, and everything after that, every mile after that was a euro, like. So it was added on, and then at the end of the night, they were able to just top up how much. Yeah. Or some, actually, at the beginning, you used to go in and just pay. So when I'd bring the box back, like, I'd go in and pay for the food, and then I'd be left with the two euro or whatever, like. Mm. But then at the end, by the end of it, we just did it all at the end of one night, and we just kept a track of how many we had done and how much it was like. Would you but it was grand, like, huh? What would you recommend it? Oh, it was easy money, like. Mm. Jeez, I think oh, like the best down. night I ever had was like a hundred and eighty quid, like. Wow. What's, that, what's the average amount of deliveries that you? The have? average amount would be like during the week it'd be obviously more quiet, so you might have. 20, 20, maybe 20 deliveries. Yeah. But at the weekends, there was two drivers on, like. Mm. You might have 60, like 70. Jeez. Yeah. Mm. You know. Yeah, I'd say it's not that bad. It's all you're doing is sitting in the car. No, I used to have a little around, DVD like. player, like. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to maybe have... you shouldn't say that. <laughs> 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 it was a radio. It was a radio that used to, like, flip out. There was a screen, like. Yeah. And so you can watch the radio. Like, I didn't yeah. finish Temple, yeah, I didn't watch this. this. <laughs> up for it to work like yeah. oh yeah. Uh, do you know what I mean yeah, yeah. you weren't you weren't able to watch it when you were okay. driving like. just driving with the handbrake up the whole time <laughs> yeah <laughs> just one click yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah it used to it was just like an ordinary radio and then it just like a screen just flipped out and it was a DVD player like. why did you just make shut the fuck up at him about the handbrake thing can you tell us about your your, <laughs> your, your, your studies in um, China your oh, work yeah, in China. China good story about China actually I can't believe you never knew you went to China. Did you work in China? Yeah, for six weeks. We, we were over college. Like. Summer 2017, Daniel. Catch up. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't, have this, I don't have this LinkedIn up very, right now. Very poor research done, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, we went over Seriously. there for... It was, it was a free trip, like. The, the school that we worked for paid for our flights, and then the school obviously had, like, big <clears throat> apartment blocks that they just let us live in. They had mm. a class, like. Mm. And it was a Cambridge curriculum. So they had like a, just an ordinary English one and then they had the Cambridge curriculum. There was two schools like. So we were in there anyway and we were beside Datang, if anybody's going to China. It was, it was in, it's in the middle of China like. Uh, but it was like a village, right? Mm-hmm. It's a village of 1.7 million people. 
Like local slum. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we went over, right? <laughs> and we got a taxi. I'd actually go on it soon. But we, we got a taxi to this that time, right? It's the home of all the socks. Ninety percent of the world's socks comes out of this village. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, right? They actually got well, us to do right. a commercial for them, like for socks. Yeah, we had to go in and like pretend like we were buying because we were white, like. We did in with <laughs> you know, you were Westerners, like, yeah. like this it's massive over there, like. Mm. So we went in anyway. We had to like pretend and point at socks and like take stuff, like, and get pictures. It was just a big, massive wall in in the shopping center with socks. Okay, you like. a little model. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, we were in there, like, and we did that, and then I always I tried to find it for years afterwards, trying to find the the commercial, like. Because you know, never told me in advance that I could have had it ready. Yeah, I guarantee. Like Nord War. Yeah, <laughs> your public figure. Yeah, yeah, public figure. Yeah, uh, yeah. So tried to find it, couldn't find it anywhere. But we were in this place, right? And we assumed it was a massive, like, but it's a village to them. Mm. So we got a private taxi in, but our phones wouldn't work, so we couldn't ring the private taxi to come back. But we were like, should it be the, the local taxis, like, mm. uh, you know, like the more green taxis or whatever. Tuk so, There was loads of tuk tuks actually. Uh, but we <laughs> went in, had our food. We were only after coming back from Shanghai. Went in. It was the only place that we could get a steak, like because everything else was Chinese food, like yeah. not not Chinese food like what we not eat like here, Irish like Chinese. yeah, like, like actually Chinese. Chinese food, like. And we went and got the steak anyway, and came back out. And we were like, shit, there's no taxis, oh, and we were like, <laughs> phones wouldn't work. This was at like half eleven shit. or eleven o'clock at night. This place was open late. Me and another lad, and we were like, fuck, how are we going to get home? Like, Yeah. We didn't even know. I, uh, like, obviously was a geography teacher, had some sort of, e- I was good with directions, mm. was working in the Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> so, you can speak Chinese. I knew. <laughs> I had no future. Yeah. I knew how to say <laughs> Piani is cheaper. Typically, <laughs> <laughs> half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Always the, find the cheap word in the, any language. The higher you raise your voice at them, like the more they engage with the whole thing, like so you have to shout. So you have to shout at them, like you're like no, 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 like, yeah. no, no, but whatever. Anyway, so we had to walk home five kilometers, like Jeez. in China, like middle of the night on a dual carriageway. <laughs> Literally, right? There was this big, massive beacon thing in the complex that we were in. Like, this complex had security all around it, like big beacon. So I was like. Right, if we go up here and turn right, just keep going. I think we went through. Like there was loads of crossroads and roundabouts and all. I was like, mm-hmm. I think it, it. I think it just is just straight. Like if we go right to the end of this and turn right, it's just straight. <clears throat> so we went up right, but halfway there, some like they were all out on the street drinking and playing cards <clears throat> or whatever. Like, <clears throat> but you're white, you're showing wealth and all. Like, and these people have very very little. Like, yeah. This lad just like finishes his drink and just fires it at us like the bottle, fires the glass bottle at us like. And I literally just like jumped out. Everybody was like, what the fuck? You know, yeah. other people were like, holy shit, did he just throw that? There are two white people like. Mm. And we were like, <laughs> fuck this. Like just boom. <laughs> like, I was like, get me out of here quick. Like, so went up like half ran walk, the half ran walk, the fucking dual carriageway. We f- it was like dog fights and stuff happening underneath like on the side there was just like groups of people Jesus. like randomly in the middle I was like oh my god we're going to get fucking murdered here like <laughs> I actually like I proper feared that something was going to happen like when we were in New York uh, I got a full bottle thrown at me did you? by homeless guy yeah yeah it's like that close to my face Jeez. what'd you catch it? no no, no. Just, just threw it back at the door then he screamed the F word the uh, uh, F-A-G Oh, oh right, okay. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Is no that the same time you went over and kicked him to death? No, no, no not that time. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah, my, sister, my sister was in Chicago and like she said it was really horrible, like. Like oh, she, she, she was like, Yeah, it's like pure racist against white people, like you know, mm. yeah, like she was like being called like pink skin and cracker and all like, <laughs> like she she actually said it was so it was really uncomfortable, like Mm. Now saying that, I'm sure that's what it feels like for you know my dad, the other way around. Like my dad 
hates America. So you're just gonna say something. No, but um, he was he was in Chicago last week, and he was just like, "That's not good." He doesn't like no. America. Like New York, in his opinion, is so. It's not America. Over, yeah, but it's so over. He doesn't like it. He says yeah. it smells of piss. It smells everyone's, of weed. Everyone's yeah. so self absorbed. Yeah, that's, weed, yeah. And that's right. everywhere, don't it? That's. Every yeah. town in the country smells yeah. really like it stinks. Happens. Yeah, you're a, the shoebox under your bed. But <laughs> we were uh, we were in Shanghai is like New York, like mm. it's completely metropolitan. It's it's there's no like there's no very little culture left in it. Like it's there's yeah. the French quarter, there's the Russian quarter, there's the English quarter, like there, there's everything. Then you go to Beijing and it's completely different. Yeah. Very very few high rise buildings, like it's all flat. Uh, we went up to one of them and like as far as you can see it's just buildings like it's enormous smog everywhere like but it's more cultured like it's still Chinese like mm-hmm. where Shanghai is not anymore like mm-hmm. if I was telling anybody to go to China I wouldn't say go to Shanghai like mm-hmm. we were in a place oh in a nightclub and there was monkey well, hey. there was a monkey outside it like. <laughs> <laughs> like literally just a lad with a monkey you could give him like a one you on or whatever it was like and he'd take a picture of him with the monkey sitting on you like so that's I got a monkey how, I was like so cool holy no it was like it was a Marcel monkey like yeah it was you know at a friend's like yeah. so we got pictures obviously I was like yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay. picture with the monkey right went up oh my god the place was a dive because smoking is allowed everywhere yeah. and they're cheap cheap fags like so we went up just about three foot along the ceiling just of smoke like because there was no ventilation the like ground was shaking like, <laughs> it was like yeah. we were all just drinking pure crap like and yeah. you know smoking them pipe things like what's it called like the, the, like the big like sort of those sort of things with a dome bombs. thing yeah, 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 yeah. yeah like a big bong thing like, like, I bought one of them for our, um, our friend Dylan I bought him one of them in oh, yeah. you have to go yeah you don't have time for us. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> it is a fair. Okay, here ends the podcast. Thank you and good night. Thank yeah. you very much, everyone, for listening. Thank you for Thank you. Yeah. Thank Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.